Now coming off that ACL, uh, she's just now getting back in the mix. She's she's getting in shape. She's doing a good job. She's working hard. Uh, she'll be fine. She can fly out and shoot it. Uh, she can stick. She can stick it. Yeah, she can fly out and shoot it. So what are your expectations for this fight? Oh, yeah, we're pretty high, even though we're very young. We got what, four kids on the roster that's upperclassmen. So we're all sophomore freshmen for the most part in our program. But expectations are pretty high. We 21 win season last year. And I'm not saying we can repeat that again, but you know, there's no sense in us shooting any lower. You know, that's, that's just our expectations now. Yeah, and I think I think over past years we've probably gotten a little more athletic, uh, a little faster, a little quicker. Um, we, we fit our roles a little bit better. Got a good. Tori's a good point guard. Kayla and Kayla and Courtney are good post players, and we got we're going to have all five of them handling the ball all over the place. So it, we're going to do things a little different in half court, but. It'll be, a, it'll be exciting basketball, I think. The girls are very excited. Conkin, Abby Conkin being there, you know, quite a bit. She's, she's well, they're all about the same size. They're all about 5'10", you know, in that same range. Uh, I, I don't put the heights on her anymore because the girls are not that much difference. Oh, and by the way, Cersei, everything he said, is, you know it's a lie. He said he was never wrong, but he was never wrong. What did he say? He's never right, but he's never wrong. Like like that. That. Let's see, he, just, he, speaks it, he speaks in riddles, he's like the riddler. It, <laughs> we just ignore him at meetings. Uh, <laughs> that's good. Now, uh, you guys know this will be our last year in the league, pretty much. So we're going to try to go out as you know, strong as we can. We'll see some of these teams probably for the last time for a while. So we're going we're to go hit them as hard as we can and do the best we can. How many seniors did you lose? We lost four. four. Lost four, yeah, sure did. How many starters? Uh, well, let's see, three of those started. Yeah, so we're, we're bringing in some, some girls. But, but the girls that are, that are coming in played significant minutes last year. You know, our, our top six, seven girls played a lot last year. Yeah, 5'10", five, 5'9". Five, and I don't, I don't, I mean, Kayla plays bigger than that. Uh, Courtney plays smaller than that. They, they, they're, they're more pretty yeah, yeah, it's, it's really all five of them are going to be sort of like having five guards out there this year. We're, we're going to have to go a little deeper than that. It's just they're going to have to, going to, have to develop. Yeah, early, early it may not be as deep, but it'll be, it'll be deeper as we go. Uh, kind of as fast as possible. Until we meet the science seal, then we'll slow it down. <laughs> we'll be as slow as possible. Nah, we'll, uh, we're going to try to play up tempo. And then if we have to play a half court game, I think we've got an offense this year that fits us pretty well so you know we're, we're just going to do the best we can I, it's i like playing fast the girls like playing fast and when we when we're hitting shots we can get out and go so on defense are you going to be pressing we'll line? press some but most of our most mostly half court pressure uh, uh, yeah. Half -court trap. yeah some some trapping just just really good man a little bit of zone and you'll see none of the, none of anything tonight from anybody you know that, right? You'll see nothing from anybody all night long. How many, how many years you've been doing this? It's five nights. Um, well, I mean, it's a good group, and that's a group that had a lot of success over, over at Sullivan. Yeah, a couple of years ago. And, and, and a little bit of high. So, so yeah, so, you know, Bray, Braden's going to be out there significantly, and Tori and uh, Taylor Crawford and Sidney Jackson. Some of those girls will be out there quite a bit. It was a nice wave of, of athletes. Yeah, I'm enjoying them right now. Well, you learn anything? Coaching girls, are different coaching boys, first and foremost. It's a lot more psychology than it is X and O's. Getting them ready to play is entirely different with girls and boys. Once you get them there, they're very observant, they're very appreciative, and they'll go super hard. They will go very hard. Uh, but you got to get their mind right. And if, if, you, if you can get them to buy into what you're doing, and these girls have. If you can get them to buy into what you're doing, you're going to have a great year. And this is one group. I would like for you to write this down about this group. This, this group right here, I will not have to tell them to play hard all year long. And that might be the first group. Last year's group played hard, but this group just does it. They do it on their own. And I think that's a little bit of our program, and that's a whole lot of them.